here are a few basics on series circuits. So, you can recognise a series circuit from a parallel circuit because in a series circuit you're going to be able to run your finger all the way around. Everything is in one continuous line, everything is in series. Here we have a series circuit with a number of different components in. Now the really important thing you need to remember about an ammeter is that it needs to be in series. It needs to be lined up next to things. This is different to a voltmeter, which I have over here, which need to be put across a component in parallel. There are a couple of rules that you need to know for current and potential difference in the circuit. It's really, really important that you remember these. I have a, a really nice worksheet for a lesson where I use a program called FETS, which is from the University of Colorado, to, to help you work this out. I'm going to put a link to the FETS um, site down in the description. It's a fantastic site. You should definitely go and have a look at it and play around with it. Potential difference. That's the bit that we measure with a voltmeter. Now, if we measure the potential difference across each one of these lamps and found them to be 1.5 volts each, the potential difference across the battery would be 4.5 volts, because the potential difference total is equal to the sum of all of the different potential differences across the components. It is the sum. If we looked at the reading readings on these ammeters, we should find that they are all the same. Ammeters in um, a series circuit, the current in a series circuit, is always going to be the same. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any new videos. Check out my website, bromoscreen.com, for any new videos, all the videos sorted by exam board, the blog, and any um, extra advice there is. Any comments, questions, topic requests, or um, corrections below.